My name is Griffin Taylor. You're watching Slasher Pepper. Would you fuck me? I'd fuck me hard. I'd fuck me so hard. Hey, you guys, Slasher Pepper, and welcome to another interview. Today is with Griffin Taylor. This is the second time I'm interviewing him. How have you been, man? <laughs> <laughs> we can't start the interviews normal with you, which is a nope. fucking great thing. <laughs> no, nope. there, there's nothing normal about me, man. <laughs> you know, I will tell you about the last interview. That, that was when I still had like the um, switching back and forth Zoom thing, you know, where it automatically yeah. switched back and forth. And you were doing like the some random shit like baby roof or whatever. Random shit. yeah yeah during the intro <laughs> and <laughs> perfect way to describe my ass <laughs> he, he was over there doing some random just shit random, i don't fucking know some random crap <laughs> no some but random I, shit i was trying to hold my laughter because i was like i can't laugh now because then zoom will cut to me and I want the people to sh show you, you know, but somehow Zoom was like, fuck you. We're just going to show you staring at this guy. So <laughs> <laughs> during the intro, <laughs> you're doing some random shit and you can just see me like staring at you. And it's, it's like, fuck, why did Zoom have to fuck it up? <laughs> you could have just edited it out. <laughs> yeah, you know, maybe, but it, then it would have been more random. And then there were people eh. commenting like, the interviewer seems a bit too serious for me. <laughs> I was like, Zoom, 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 Zoom dropped me. <laughs> Zoom fucked me in the ass. <laughs> yes. <laughs> sorry, YouTube, sorry. <laughs> awesome. So, um, how's it going with the new Vendetta EP? Can you tell us more about it? <laughs> it is fucking awesome. I have been, uh, We've been working on it. Uh, it's, I, it's, I will say it's pretty much done. It just needs to be like mixed and shit. But I will say it sounds fucking awesome. Like I was kind of like worried about how I was going to do my vocals on that. Cause I kind of can't really hear myself, like my own voice and how I sound. Yeah. And like listening back, listening back to like screams that I am doing, I was just like, Jesus Christ, I sound like that? The fuck? That's awesome, like, there man. Was, there was literally a scream that I did that sounded like I had two voices without any like double tracking over it. And I was like, fuck, what am I? Hell yeah, man. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah. There were some rewrites uh for some songs to put in and thank god because they sound even awesomer now awesomer yes i created a new word <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> on urban on urban dictionary awesomer when you're awesomer. describing the next vendetta ep <laughs> <laughs> awesomer describes something that is totally radical <laughs> that's awesomer man <laughs> awesomer and did you the, my lord the, this shit be totally awesomer. <laughs> Did you get to um, um, show off the album? I mean, show off or let anyone else listen to the album yet? Or yeah, I let I let some of my close friends uh, listen to it uh, the because thing. they're very supporting of me, and they're not gonna like send it to other people. Oh or, yeah, or like release it prematurely, like yeah. the fucking Spider Man Two trailer. Oh, or, yeah. or the, the new Spider-Man trailer. <laughs> we'll just get the new By the way, I'm album totally, filmed. I'm totally believing that Scarlett Johansson did it. <laughs> Dude, I didn't hear totally, that. That's I totally best, believe that. That's the best theory ever. <laughs> oh, yeah, Disney. Well, I'm going to film the new trailer with five different iPhones. <laughs> you're going you're gonna to fucking fire me? No, no problem. <laughs> you know who else likes the new Spider-Man trailer? Me, bitch. <laughs> Me, bitch. <laughs> yeah, I did let some of my close friends listen to it, and even they were like, Jesus, you sound fucking good. That's awesome, huh? man. That's yeah. fantastic. Yeah, we've heard snippets, of course, on the Instagram stories and the Instagram videos, and um, it sounds awesome, man. 
when, mixed uh, in with my bullshit that I post. <laughs> <laughs> people are people will ask me like, "What are you thinking when making a video?" Literally, just I'm bored right now. <laughs> oh, this is a good idea. <laughs> Like, I don't, like, I'm either baked off my face and think of a stupid, uh, stupid idea to, to record, or I'm just like, huh, this is kind of funny to me. All right. <laughs> you know, it's kind of genius, though, because you make so many TikToks. Like, if someone in the future is going to try to find something to cancel you for, they can't do it because there are too many fucking TikToks. <laughs> nah, nah, all they have, <laughs> possibly, maybe. <laughs> You can't cancel me. I'm my own boss. <laughs> nice. <laughs> and um, yeah, a couple months ago, um, well, two months ago, a month ago at this point, of, uh, we unfortunately lost one of the best drummers in the world, in my opinion, Joey Jordison. Um, how will you remember him and how will you pass on his legacy? Well, I don't feel like passing on Joey Jordison's legacy is my, uh, hmm, how should I word this? <sighs> ah, fuck, dyslexia is kicking in. I don't feel like passing on Joey, Joey Jordison's legacy is my mission in life. I feel like uh, that goal should be towards Simon because he was pretty much like, I wouldn't say, I, I wouldn't say taught by Joey because he played when he was very young because uh, Simon started playing when he was very young. But I feel like he, Simon learned a lot more from Joey than he could ever teach me. Right. So I feel like that honor should go to Simon on passing on passing Joey Jordison's legacy on because he is a because Simon is a damn good drummer uh I wouldn't say better than Joey because that would be rude but I will say that he is up there with Joey yeah I mean I've seen snippets the guy's a beast man <laughs> holy fuck <laughs> I, he motherfuckers ambidextrous and I wish I had that power yeah so would you say, um, like, of course, some people will jump to the conclusion that you knew Joey personally because of your dad, but. Um, yeah, you, I you didn't don't. know. I really didn't know Joey that well because I was way too young to yeah. even process what Slipknot was or even process what my dad did for a living or right. even my dad's life or any of uh, or any of the other members. So people were, people like harped on me when I continued posting my bullshit on Instagram, <laughs> but like people Wait, when Joey passed? Me being like, yeah, well, no, they weren't pissed, but some individuals were like, like, you should probably go consult your dad. And I was like, I did do that. And I'm not going to tell you what he said, because that would be very rude and also start some bullshit. So I don't want to do that. That's fucking weird, man. Yeah. People it, were it, just like, you should be, you should be having a moment of silence. And I'm like, I did the black screen. I just didn't know him. Like, yeah. it's a very, it's, it, it, I, not to disrespect him. He was a really good dude and he, like, RIP and all that shit. But I just didn't know him. I right. haven't seen him in years, honestly. Right. So it's, yeah. So you basically know him just as well as all the other, you know, Slipknot fans, pretty yeah. much. Yeah, it's it's crazy that people get pissed over that. Like, geez, it takes so little to get people pissed nowadays. People get pissed with me making jokes over my own fucking like my own depression because people are like, "Oh, you can't be depressed. You're Corey Taylor's son. You you have the best fucking life in the world." It's like, motherfucker, I've been through three divorces. I've I've been bullied at school, like. I've got a lot of mental shit going on. Yeah. Like, you don't know my life. <laughs> That's fucking, that must be so frustrating though, man. People, <laughs> it, it's very frustrating, but it's gotten to the point where it's literally just numb. Where I'm just like, right. I just don't fucking care anymore. You're a random fucking I Heart Green Day 2020 <laughs> is fucking getting on my bullshit. <laughs> 
It's like, who the fuck are you? <laughs> awesome. <laughs> so, uh, and then final question. If your life was a movie, how would you want it to end? Fuck. <laughs> I'm expecting something crazy here. Huh. The villain wins. All right. And who's the villain then? My penis. <laughs> <laughs> what war? What war did he did he start? What wait, what <laughs> how did you how did you guys become enemies? What the fuck? <laughs> Listen, man, he became enemies with my hand. <laughs> Hey, like, dude, it's been a battle. <laughs> Why don't you ever look at me during? <laughs> dude, there's something wrong with my brain. Perfect answer, man. <laughs> you know what? No, nah, no. Nah, the villain wins where Trump gets reelected. <laughs> <laughs> Terrorists win. <laughs> Nice. I've been literally talking to my friends and I've been like, are we just going to fucking forget that Trump stormed the goddamn Capitol? <laughs> I know, right? Like, are we just going to forget that fucking happened? <laughs> like, I know, put everything behind us. We've moved on to yeah. bigger and better idiots. But at the same time, like, are we just going to forget that happened? Like, isn't that like a cat, like, a fucking government offense. Yeah. <laughs> are we are we just gonna forget? Fucking crazy. We're at a mani, totally insane. They pushed <laughs> me out and maced me. <laughs> <laughs> is there anything you would like to add to the interview? I feel like this is a perfect way to close it off, man. I don't fucking know, dude. <laughs> <laughs> at this point, I <laughs> Well, at this point, my brain hurts. Yeah, I've been too gotcha. Stupid. Gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> well, to everybody watching, thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you guys next time. See ya. Yeah.